so today we are going to look at the uh, blood transfusion uh, reactions uh, due to uh, incompatibility right uh, so uh, these reactions can be grouped into two major groups uh, the hemolytic and non-hemolytic okay let's start with the easiest that's non-hemolytic uh, so you can see this uh, within a few minutes to hours after um, after blood transfusion right uh, and it's characterized by fever uh, itching and difficult in breathing okay uh, so let's go to hemolytic hemolytic can uh, be further classified into acute or delayed uh, acute can be seen uh, like a few minutes after transfusion uh, and is characterized by uh, a rapid hemolysis and the symptoms are fever high heart rate low blood pressure bronchospasm uh, red urine chest pain pulmonary edema okay so let's go to uh, delayed uh, on delayed uh, hemolytic uh, reaction right this uh, happens like from one to five days right so what will be what will be happening is okay so here is our recipient our patient and here is the donor so in this example you have a, a donor with a group uh, donating uh, to a patient with B group so firstly there is going to be agglutination after agglutination you uh, there is going to be hemolysis so this hemolysis uh, is just um, like bursting of red blood cells. Okay, so uh, if red blood cells burst, normally the hemoglobins, uh, the hemoglobin will give uh, him and globin, right? And the globin, these are just proteins. They are uh, further degraded into amino acids and used for other uses in the body. Uh, but him, him have two pathways it will release iron right and then iron can be uh, carried like by transferring and can be kept like as a uh, hemosiderin right but uh, what is what we are much interested in is uh, bilivadin right so firstly from from him we we'll go to bilivadin from bilivadin then bilirubin right so, but the, if the level of bilirubin is a higher than uh, 2 milligrams per dl, there is going to be jaundice, right? So, this is the first complication, right? Secondly, uh, cardiac shock. So, this one is will happen because uh, when hemoglobin is released into the plasma, it increases the viscosity of blood, so this will increase the workload of the heart leading to heart failure uh, and moreover uh, the toxic substances released from uh, hemolytic hemolyzed hemoly cells uh, reduce arterial blood pressure and then uh, circulatory shock will develop right and our last complication uh, is renal shutdown so this renal this is this renal sh shutdown is simply like a dysfunction of the kidneys right so what will happen is like again the toxic substance from hemolyzed cells uh, they cause constriction of blood vessels in the kidney uh, and, and in addition to the toxic substances along with the free hemoglobin they are filtered through the glomerular membrane and enter the renal tubules so because of poor rate of reabsorption from renal tubules, all these substance will all, all these substances will participate and obstruct the renal tubule. Suddenly the kidneys will stop functioning and urine will not be formed, right? So it's also called anuria, right? So if this patient is not treated, he or she is gonna die within uh, 10 to 12 days. Because of uh, uh, these complications, uh, jaundice, uh, circulatory shock, and renal shutdown. 